Hello everyone, this is Emp here and I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Node.js environment and do your first project. If you open up command prompt, you'll notice I put in node and it says it doesn't recognize it. I put in npm and it says it doesn't recognize it. This is a clean environment. If you are using Windows and you have the .NET framework, it'll probably say that you have npm in node, but it'll say you have version 0.12 something and that's just not going to cut it so we have to actually download node here and this is just from the node.js website right here and I'm just gonna click on it and the installation process is very simple you just have to agree to the terms of the license agreement say where you want it and it's very important to make sure it's added to your path so that you can actually type in node and npm and have it actually do something. So yes, we're going to install. And it's finished. If we open up a command prompt and I say node v for version, I have 6.9.5, which is exactly what I want. Okay. So let's open up Sublime. You can use whatever text editor you want. I just happen to prefer that. And I have a brand new folder in tutorials called Node.js. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a package.json. JSON is uh, not too complicated. It's mostly strings and objects containing strings and arrays. But it's the scope of it is for another tutorial if anybody feels like they really need that. In this one, we just need to say a name, test project, comma, version, 0.0.1, main, main.js and in this case it can be server.js or whatever you want it to be and then I'm gonna do this right here that's not necessarily always needed but it is for more complicated things so here's my object for scripts and it's just basically going to be a list of different scripts right now we're only gonna do start and so for npm start, what I want it to do is node main.js. Now you could say, well, why don't I just do node main.js in my command prompt instead of npm start? And the answer is your start script is probably going to end up being more complicated than just node main.js. Maybe it's going to start a server and a client at once or something like that. Um, so using your start script, is going to make things a lot simpler so that when whatever you end up doing you can just still start write npm start in your console and then do it okay so i'm going to save this as package.json and it's got to be named that and i'm going to make a new file and i'm going to save it as main.js and this tutorial does not have anything complicated going on. I'm just going to write console.log hello world. And that's going to be it. Save that. Go back to my command prompt. I'm now going to navigate. my tutorials okay so there I am 
and I'm can I can say node main.js as said before and it'll say hello world there we are but I can also say npm start and no matter how complicated the start process is it'll handle it all for me and there it is hello world and notice it will also say what it's running and the version number and exactly what the command you gave it is okay so that's all there is to, to do for setting up your node environment and writing your first project later on i'll talk about some more complicated issues <laughs>